guys, Eric here. Welcome to another edition of Comic Crazy Reviews. This week, uh, I'm just going to get into some uh, some books, including uh, an Infinity tie-in and Part 5 of the Trinity War. So uh, we're going to start off with Avengers number 18, which is the Infinity tie-in that's going on right now. And um, this is actually better than Infinity number 1. Uh, this actually seemed like more of a large-scale thing that was happening pretty much throughout the galaxy, apparently. But it very much had a Star Wars feel. It had like a galactic council, and they're all meeting and talking about all this stuff. And it's like, okay, where are the lightsabers? And where's Chewbacca? So you have like this galactic council, which includes like Skrulls and uh, the Shi'ar. And they're all coming together to fight the, um, the Builders. Pretty much all of them, plus the Avengers, are coming in to help, and they're all planning a battle, which is exact again, Star Wars, you know, like the whole scene right before they fight the Death Star in the original movie, and, you know, talking about Womp Rats and T-16s and all that stuff. I said I did enjoy this a little bit better than, than Infinity Number 1. The artwork was really good in this book, and uh, I really liked the way the Skrulls look, all their cool-looking armor and stuff, that was pretty awesome. See two sets of, like, Avengers and, like, little Quinjet things flying around trying to help out, and they're going into battle, and Captain America's got some cool armor on, too, in this part. Captain America, you got Captain America, and you have, um, Bruce Banner in one, and then Captain Marvel, which is Carol, um, you know, the original Marvel girl, and she's in a ship with, uh, some other people, but, um, when they all think they're about to win and destroy this big battleship, all of a sudden there's explosions everywhere, everyone's all beat up, like, they lost half their fleet, and, um, Seems as if, you know, Marvel Girl's in some trouble. Give it a read, see if you like it. Um, I know a lot of people, including myself, weren't a huge fan of Infinity. I feel like in that there was way too much going on. Everything was being introduced all at the exact same time, and it's like just kind of confusing. This one, I mean, things were introduced, but they were introduced all in like the same room almost. Like they were all together, so you kind of could understand better what was going on. I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 5. So. If you're into Infinity, or if you're just already reading Avengers, might as well pick it up. Alright guys, the next book is a book that I actually really did enjoy. It's Superman Unchained, issue number three, obviously by Scott Snyder and Jim Lee. These kind of books, you could just open it up, and you don't even have to read it, just look at it, and it's just fun. Jim Lee's artwork, as always, is phenomenal. Scott Snyder does make it a good read as well, though, of course. You know, like, it is a, it's a, it's a good storyline going on. You have this character who you finally get to find out his name is Wraith, and he's been around since, like, the 30s, when, um... The, the planet sent up like this mathematical algorithm and changed it on purpose to get some kind of reaction and then this guy came down a few minutes later and um, so Superman wasn't the first alien who came into Earth, it was this guy, he's been working for the government ever since and actually he's helped Superman a few times, Superman never even knew it but he actually is just like Superman's molecules are, are powered by the sun but he's been powered for a lot longer than Superman so he's a little bit stronger and uh, they end up ha fighting, they have this huge battle, and then they stop, and Wraith takes him home and shows him stuff, and it's like, hey, this is where I live, and let's hang out and have some good times. Um, Lois Lane's father is there, Sandy Superman, you're a douche, nobody likes you, you can't even kill some bad guys, but we can, because we're awesome. So that happens, and then uh, there's something going on in Japan, so Wraith and Superman go off to fight together, and Wraith's like, oh hey, you know, it's such an honor to work with you, too bad I'm gonna have to kill you. Sorry if I spoiled that for you, but nobody gets killed, it's just, they fight, and it's, it's fun, and cool. Superman Unchained, definitely check it out, 4 out of 5. Next book is Justice League Dark, issue number 23, which is part 5 of the uh, Infinity War that's going on. And this was a good book. This um, kind of shows us more of what's going on, and pretty much the entire book everyone's just fighting over Pandora, and what Pandora does, because if you remember from the last issue, the last part of Trinity War, uh, Pandora takes over um, Wonder Woman. So she becomes all obsessed with this, like, get away, this is mine. And then Shazam comes in and takes it from her, and it's like, hey, this is mine. And then everyone just starts fighting over it, like Hawkman and Stargirl. Um, they're all beating the crap out of each other trying to get it. They're just like, oh, give it to me, it'll be perfectly fine. So Tan is trying to use her magical powers to, you know, block the, the feelings that they're getting from wanting to have, to, to possess Pandora's box. So she does that, but it unfortunately starts to fade away, and they all still continue to fight, and they're fighting over Pandora. Constantine shows up and just picks it up. It's like, hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Constantine. And uh, I guess I'll just take this. It's, you know, I already got some problems, so I can just have this too. 
So him and Zatanna teleport, tries to teleport them to London, but happens to teleport them to, yeah, I think it's Greece or Rome or one of those places that I don't know where it is at the moment because I'm not a geography major. I just read comics. It's pretty awesome. And they both sense this magical presence going on underneath them. So they go underneath them and it's, they find Madame Zandu all tied up. Like, oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, and then right as they're doing that, uh, in comes Batman and, and, and company. They should kind of have a theme song, like a, a sitcom, right? Batman and company. I don't know, whatever. We're again fighting, because Batman's like, hey, give me, give us Pandora's box, hand it over, and he's like, oh, you don't know what's going on here, and then that freaking weird dude that I always keep thinking is a Joker, pretty sure it's the one who shot, um, <laughs> shot Catwoman in the head, supposedly. He's got the cane and the fedora hat thing. He comes in and says, like, oh, it's a doorway, let's open it. So, um, uh, the next issue is in Justice League, and it's the end, and which leads into the new whole villains thing, which is going to take place, which looks really cool. But uh, this book was, was good to read. I gave this a solid four, four out of five. I'd definitely pick it up. Um, I think DC is killing it with this uh, Trinity War thing. It's, it's really fun to read, fun to look at, because all the artwork has been great in every book. And like AVX. I keep coming back to AVX, but how horrible that was. That was just terrible. It was almost as bad as that time Quorum lost his belt buckle. This has been a, uh, another edition of Comic Crazy Reviews. Don't forget to... Uh, you know, comment, subscribe, whatever. You can say, hey, you suck, comic books are terrible, what are you doing? Uh, whatever you want, I don't care. Don't forget to check out BKB on Internet for all your news reviews and more. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.